All right, Patreon people, my very first video showing how I prepped a clockwork heart. So a clockwork heart, in order to make four bars of soap, you need four hearts on the right side and eight gear assemblies, and they, they're divided into left and right. There's four left-facing and four right-facing gear assemblies. The hearts are about the size of a quarter, and the gears are a little bit smaller than that. The hearts come out pretty good uh, out of the mold, but the gears are very, very hard to pour uh, in a way that they don't require a lot of cleanup. If you do that, they come out so thin that they're incredibly difficult to work with, so it's a little bit easier to just make them a bit thicker and then clean them up in post. Uh, either way, it's kind of a hot mess. There's no good middle ground. So the gears are going to need quite a bit of, of work, the hearts a little bit less. But I'm going to show you all of the steps that it takes before we ever get to the pouring process that I'm hoping to show later today in a, in a live stream demo. And the first thing that we're going to do is talk about the micas that are going to be used in this process. So, hi Rupert. Rupert says hi. So, we have three different shades of mica. The first one is uh, a black, which is not activated charcoal. It's actually a black mica. The second is a dark gold shimmer, and the one on the right is called hammered copper kettle, which really just looks like powdered copper dust. And in the actual bar itself, I use about three other colors in addition, including some activated charcoal. But for this, these are the only ones that we're going to need. And we're also going to need some rubbing alcohol to make a paint out of it. So right now you can see that I've been painting already. And the way that I start this is I take the hearts and I mix a little bit of the black mica with some rubbing alcohol and just essentially just coat them in black. This allows me to get the black into all the little nooks and crannies and acts like an antiquing process, um, which is obviously what we want. Uh, what I'm going to do after that point, though, is I'm going to essentially take them individually very gently and put them in a paper towel and rub the tops of them so that I get most of that mica off and so that it's just sort of settled into the deep parts, into the, the hollows of it, and the, uh, the top parts are a little bit lighter, which you're going to see in the next image. But all this is is mica and rubbing alcohol. There's nothing else that's there. So that's what happened here. You can see that most of the black has been rubbed away. It still looks very antique -y. The one on the top has had nothing done to it as a control, so you can see what the difference is between the ones that have been paint hand-painted and the ones that have not. Um, and you can see it's like a really big difference between these. Um, and they don't all have to be exact, and they don't all have to be particularly neat. All you really need to do is just give them a light rub so that there's some variation in the shades and that the antiquing kind of is in the hollows where you've got some high points that are a little bit lighter. And that's all that you have to really do with these in terms of getting them antiqued. The next step that needs to happen, though, is that the high points where the gears are, they need to be highlighted in gold. So all I've done here is taken my dark gold shimmer mica and some uh, rubbing alcohol, and with a very, very small brush and extremely steady hands, um, I've, I've painted the screw heads and the tops of the gears so that they stand out against that darker background. And this is this takes practice, okay? If you were to try this at home yourself and you've never done it before, you'd probably be really frustrated until you've had a whole bunch of tries at it. But I've been doing this for years and I can work in really, really, really min small miniature uh, scale. So this is something I'm really used to, but it takes does take some work getting getting a hold of, you know, the, the skill. So once I did that, I went back over it with the black to make sure that all of those hollows in but especially the gear on the left is kind of a pain in the ass um, because it's very hard to control uh, where the mica goes. It's going to want to flow into those deep areas and you want to keep that gold out of there as much as possible. So I went over it again with the black to uh, make sure that it was antique properly and I also went over the left side background with the black so that the left was a bit darker than the right, which you can... Uh, start to see here, especially against the control, the left side is uh, has an extra coating of black on it that the right does not have. So this is the, um, the finished product uh, in terms of how the hearts are going to look. And all I'm going to do now is just set them to the side. And we're going to start working on these gears, which are a, a lot more complicated than the hearts are. Um, the first thing that has to happen 
is these are the gears and, and what I did the one on the top has had nothing done to it I did the same thing I took uh, some black mica and I just dipped it into where all of the hollows are and um, it doesn't really have to be neat or perfect it just needs to be done and again these are really small the, the, these gear assemblies are roughly the size of a nickel um, and so they're very very tiny and no one's going to be looking at them that closely, but you want to make sure that the the hollows have a darker tint in order to get that antique look that you're going to want out of the final product out of, you know, the whole thing. And after that happens, though, it's going to seem like a waste of time because I'm about to cut all of that stuff out. Um, this photo is taken from a little bit farther away than I'd like, but um, you can see, I hope, that what I've done here is gone in with an exact, a very sharp exacto knife and cut away all of the spaces between the gears and the centers of the two gears, the one on the little round one that's off to the side there, and the m and the main one um, in the middle. I think that's the one that has the hole in it. There's two of them that have a hole in, in the center. Maybe it's the other two. No, it's the two on the bottom that have the hole in the center. The one on the top has the holes all the way around, and so does the one below it, the darker one. Um, these are really hard to cut out, and they take about five minutes a piece to, to really get them done. After that, what I do is I take uh, some copper, the, the hammer copper kettle and those go on the gear on the top and the gear on the side and then I mix a little bit of the black with the gold and do the small gear that's holding the two of them together um, so there's there's basically three different colors that are going on on each one of those gear assemblies and you can see the one on the top hasn't had anything done to it um, but they're much more metallic once they've been given a, a little bit of a coat of, of mica the process to do a full set of these takes about 45 minutes, I want to say, from start to finish if I don't get interrupted or anything. And that's all I have to do, and that will only make four bars of soap, guys. After that, we have to start it all over. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.